in that area, of course, is West High School, which was shut down for a couple of hours this afternoon. Students were just allowed to leave the school within the last hour, and their parents were there to pick them up. Let's go live now to 23ABC's John Genovese at West High with an update on that. John? Yeah, Todd, right now we're standing just outside West High School. This is on the south side of the building, right off of Newstein Road. But take a look, this parking lot and side street have pretty much cleared out. That was not the case just about an hour ago. Parents and friends of students inside were anxiously waiting to figure out what had happened. Again, this school was put on lockdown just before students were supposed to be let out for the day at around 315. And uh, again, that lockdown lifted about an hour ago. Here's what a school official and a student told us as that was happening. I was wondering like where the guy was at in general. I was like, cause like if I knew he was in the school, I would been like really freaked out. The most important thing for us in that protocol is student safety. Locked all classrooms down, locked all gates, pulled in baseball players. We had tennis going on. We pulled it all in, notified all of the schools of those students and let them know that the students were safe with us. And then we went from there in, in monitoring what the police department told us to do from there. And that assistant principal told us they were able to lock down the, the school in about six minutes after they were first notified of that police situation. Obviously, for now at least, a calm ending to a very nerve-wracking situation for some of those students and parents. Todd and Jackie, back to you.